We are back before my Southern home and I'm here with Brooke Cromer with Cromer Collective and thank you so much for joining us today. Absolutely, thank you for having me. So I love the Emerald Coast, it's so gorgeous and a lot of people don't know really what that means when you refer to this area in Florida. So the whole Gulf Coast right up here, the whole Panhandle, we're considering the Emerald Coast. You notice it as soon as you see the water. It is green, blue, it's actually different colors um, with the depth of the water. So just a really stunning part of our area that really draws attention here. And then you have the white sandy beaches right up against that water, which is just, it's stunning. I mean, it's, it's amazing that this is in America. So what tips would you give investors that are out there as far as what to think about when they're starting this journey of investing on the Emerald Coast? Absolutely. I think it's just figuring out what's best for you. So is it going to be more of a second home where your family's going to come down and appreciate it a lot of the times of the years, and then you're just going to try and offset some costs with rental costs? Or is it strictly an investment and maybe you're going to use it one to three times a year? That's really going to change everything of where you want to look down here. Um, if you're looking for more of a second home, you're going to want to be in one of those communities like Rosemary Beach and somewhere where you can walk to the high-end luxury dinner and the shops. Where if you're looking for an investment property, you can go off the beaten path a little bit because you can get more bang for your buck and you can also, the rental numbers are going to make a little bit more sense for the price of the property and the size of the property. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much, Brooke. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. We'll be back with more My Southern Home in just a moment.